you're thinking of using Vitex or Chasberry, here are some herbs that you need to avoid using with Vitex in order to stay safe and make sure that it doesn't interact in a negative way. Vitex is also known as Chasberry, it's also known by another name which is Vitus angus castrus and it is a herb that's used for hormonal balance particularly in women's health. I've used it also, I've talked about my experience here on the channel and I've used it to help with fertility and in balancing my hormones. It has worked amazing for me in the two times that I was able to use it in the last six years. While it is generally safe for most individuals, there are certain herbs that may interact with Vitex negatively and what happens here is that they cause conflicting contradictory effects so i'm going to talk about these herbs and i'm going to talk about uh, also a couple of important things that you need to know regarding using vitex and using it correctly the first types for herbs is hormonal herbs now these herbs are uh, going to help to balance the hormones and vitex in itself it's known to balance the hormones particularly the female reproductive system therefore it's advisable to avoid combining it with other herbs that have the same hormonal effects these herbs one of them is black cohosh we've got donkwai we have red clover don't combine it with vitex because they may have conflicting aspects or they, they may exasperate a hormonal imbalances we also have the second types of herbs, which is fertility-related herbs. And these herbs are, we've got so plamito, turbulus, we also have other, um, red raspberry leaf is another one. And Vitex is most commonly used to support fertility and menstrual cycle regulation. So you should avoid combining with these herbs that have the similar effect on the fertility. Third types of herbs is anticoagulant herbs. Now, Vitex has mild anticoagulant effects, meaning that it can thin the blood and it can increase the risk of bleeding. So it's best to avoid combining it with other herbs that have the same properties. We've got garlic, ginger, and ginkgo biloba. Don't use them with Vitex because all of these together may increase the risk of bleeding complications, especially for individuals taking medication to help with their anticoagulant properties or to uh, to combat and monitor bleeding disorders that they already have. Fourth types of herbs is hypotensive herbs. Now these types of herbs are known to lower the blood pressure and vitex and have hypotensive effects in some individuals. Therefore, it's important to avoid combining it with other herbs that have the same properties. We've got hawthorn, motherwort also, because these can lead to excessive low blood pressure. And the fifth types of herbs is uterine stimulant herbs. Now, herbs that stimulate the uterus. And Vitex also does have uterine stimulating effects in some individuals, particularly when they take it in higher doses. So avoid combining it with other herbs that have the same properties. We've got black cohosh, we've got also blue cohosh as well. Red raspberry leaf is another one, especially during pregnancy because they may increase the risk of uterine con contractions. So if you've enjoyed today's video, like and subscribe. I'd love to have you on board. I'll see you in the next one.